Hey there, I'm Robbie Carmen. And I'm Rich Harrington. And welcome to the Creative Cow DSLR Essentials podcast. And, you know, today, Rich, we're going to talk about something that uh, I think is a cool feature uh, inside of Premiere Pro. Yep. We're also going to talk a little bit about using an application called Dual Eyes from Singular Software. And what we're really getting at is that, you know, we've talked about in previous episodes, and, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are aware of how to actually sync clips in whatever nonlinear editor they're working with. But, however, there's always remained a problem once you get stuff in sync on a timeline or whatever. Right. And that is creating a single clip that can, contains both your, you know, your video and high-quality audio from, say, a digital audio recorder. You yeah. want to be able to say, hey, here's one piece instead of having, okay, they're sort of in sync on a timeline and I have to move them around and that kind of stuff. And we have a couple different ways to do that. And the first way that we'll talk about is actually uh, we're going to be in Premiere and using a feature in Premiere Pro called Merge Clips. Yeah, and this is a new feature that came out in 5.5. You have a similar feature in other editing tools too, so yep. you can look up Merge Clips option. But what you're basically doing is we're going to take the video from this camera right. and the audio from, like, say, the zoom that you have there. Well, we also have reference audio that was recorded to your camera, right? So that's an yeah. important bit, you know, that when you're recording dual system sound is that you record reference audio to your camera, high quality audio to a digital audio recorder. And we have a whole podcast on that. So if you head yep. over to creativecow.net, you click on the podcast tab and you look up the DSLR show, you'll see there that we have the essentials of sync sound already. Yep. This is what you do in post. Right. So we've already marked a marker here on the timeline for where the audio beeps and I've got my video here and there's my sync point, the white flash. Okay, so you've, you've found a, the, the sync point in your video, and it's reference audio, is yep. that they're tied together, and you've found a sync point in your high quality recording from your digital audio recorder. Yep, and in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and add a marker. So we'll go ahead and add a clip marker, and I'm using numbered markers, so the two markers are the same. Here we have zero, and here we have zero. And I love numbered markers inside of Premiere Pro, because if you, especially if you're working on you know, multiple angles, or if you're working on a lot of clips, that kind of stuff, you can sort of say, okay, this section goes, you know, it's one here, it's one here, two here, two there, so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got that ability, and then once you have it with those markers, you know, it makes it really easy. You could, of course, manually drag to line up, or you could take advantage of some of the auto-syncing options there. But you'll see with the markers, if you drag them, and you've got snapping on by default, yep. they snap in anyways. Yeah, you can also drag directly from a marker. Yeah, yeah. So that's fine, and you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the audio I don't want. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and alt-click on the bad audio and hit backspace or delete and it's gone. Okay. Now I saw that you dragged, actually you trimmed that piece of uh, the high quality reference audio. One of the things I'll point out that one of the cool things about merging clips is you don't even need to do that. Yeah, that's, a, that's an old <laughs> habit. I, 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 I like my neat timeline, but you're right, you're it's right. going to do it for me. Merging clips will say, okay, here's the length of my video, here's the audio, and I'm only going to use what I need, which is pretty cool. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and select those two clips. Okay. And we've got them, and we'll just go ahead and choose to actually merge those. clip. Merge Clips. You can also right-click on it and choose Merge Clip. Of course. And now it says, well, what do you want to call this? And obviously, in this case, we were taking a movie called Sync Clip. Obviously, right. this is our demonstration clip. Of course. But whatever it was called, it's going to be called. And we've got it, and we'll just go ahead and click OK. Now, just to, just to be clear, those options there are grayed out simply because we're merging from a clip already on the uh, sequence in Premiere Pro. Yeah. If, if you're merging from, say, the project panel, you would have different ways of merging using time code and that kind of stuff. Yeah, like if you just loaded up your video clip and put a marker yep. for the slate and then load up your audio and put a marker for the clapboard, yep. you could just select those clips in the bin and do this. Yep. I just come from the paranoid school of thought that I like to like sort of preview it once in make the sure, Make sure it's in sync. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like to way. watch the video and audio playing in sync and go, that's in sync. I agree. I agree. So if we did that, then it obviously goes, well, you're in the timeline, you figured it out. We click OK, and it makes a new clip, and there it is. It's called Merged. Yep. It's got both that. It's got the new video and audio. And there we go. In that case, it did keep both handles. Right. And, you know, there it is. The audio is in sync. It's playing. We could hear it. And as we drag through there, there is audio attached. That's great. This works really well. Of course, it's a bit of work if you have, oh, I don't know, 500 clips. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the thing about it is that this is great for the, you know, those, time, you know, those times where you'll get a couple clips that are dual system and you need to do it. But you hit the nail on the head that if you have, you know, you're sitting on your desk and you have, you know, 50 cards in front of you and, you know, it can get maddening real quick. 
which is where a great product called Dualize from Singular Software kicks in. Now, many people out there in the cow have heard about Pluralize, yep. which is designed for multi-camera audio or doing this stuff right in the timeline where it slides things around and syncs it up. Yeah, and it, you know, it's it's a great application. I mean, uh, Pluralize that is. I mean, again, for multi-camera stuff, it can do a lot of workflow with DSLR productions. Um, but Dualize was designed specifically for DSLR uh, workflows. Yeah. And, the, and the thing that you know I love about Dualize is that it's um, not platform specific. Right. Pluralize, you have to get a version that works with, say, Final Cut or Premiere Pro. Dualize on Mac or PC, standalone application. So it doesn't matter if you're on, you know, the video toaster. Well, it probably does. But yeah. <laughs> you know, whatever your editing platform, old or new, whatever, you can use Dualize uh, to work. I recommend Dualize to a lot of my DP friends who yep. want to get the footage ready to hand off to the client. Yeah. Because I can't tell you how many times I hear stories of people like, well, I shot the footage, everything was fine. There was the folder sync sound, and then I didn't get the job. And I said, why? They're like, well, the audio on your stuff was terrible. Like, did you use the sync sound? Right, right, sure, sure. And they don't know how. So this just sort of removes that barrier for editorial. Yep. And so, you know, you just make a new project, and then you basically, it's pretty simple, click the plus sign to add your media in, okay. and you can grab any media. It could be folders of media, or it could just be single clips. It's, it's really up to you. In this case, we've just got two clips. Okay. And uh, just so that, that's our video clip with the reference audio, and then the high quality recording from our digital audio recorder. Yeah, and then it's pretty set. You once you got that, you know, under options here, you have the ability to also choose things like level the audio so it normalizes it. My personal favorite option. Yes. Try really hard. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Which means <laughs> use the high quality method. Take your time. Yeah. Think it through. But there's something really important in this menu that I think that yeah. uh, we should point out, and that's the option to replace audio for move and AVI files. Now, if you're on a Mac, you're not gonna, it's not going to say AVI files, or just say right. move files. But what this does is it essentially says, oh, here's your high quality audio, and here's your reference audio. Why don't I replace that reference audio with the high quality audio and create an entirely new file? Right. And that's beautiful because it essentially did what we just did in our step in Premiere Pro by merging clips, right. except it does it all in one step. Not only does it sync your footage, it also creates that single clip in one step, which is nice. So we'll go ahead and tell it to go ahead and level that do the real hard. This chronological order is nice. Yep. Like if you, oh, I don't know, here's a novel idea. You have 20 clips yep. and they're shot in order and then you have your audio card and those clips are in order, it's going to go, oh, clip one, clip one, clip two, clip two. Yeah. So it just speeds things up. No, I mean, I'm I, I, not kidding when I tell people, when I talk about dualized and pluralized, I, I tell people that it's sort of like magic. Yeah. I mean, it really is. And, it, and the, the, the amount of time that it saves in a workflow is, is pretty substantial. So we'll just go ahead and click that button, and it's going to do that analysis process. It takes the original video file, extracts the audio, looks at it, analyzes it, analyzes the next clip, normalizes it here, combines them, and it's done. Absolutely. So if we go over here and we look, you'll see that we actually have a new sync clip. There it is. And you know you actually have the movie file, and it's put the new audio in there. And then from here, you could bring it into Premiere, you could bring it into Final Cut, you could do whatever you want with it because it's now one merged clip. Now the yeah. cool thing about this is, of course, it's not like it's destructive. Right. It, you still have your original clips to go back to. It's just creating this new merged clip. Yeah, the original clip is there. You know, here's our sync clip. Here's our sync clip with audio, and then there's the sync clip movie from Sync Clip Audio, and it combines it into a new clip. So you hit it on the head, and this is great. It is destructive in that it's making a clip that has you know combined the things, but you still have your original media, so in that case, it's non-destructive. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's also doing some trimming, too, just like we talked about before. So you're going to get just the pit that matches up with your video. Yeah, so it's a great tool. I really like this. I'm actually finding myself using Dualize more than Pluralize, because it's nice to get it right from the beginning before you bring it in. Absolutely. So there you go. A little bit more about merging clips in Premiere Pro and then using uh, Dualize from Singular Software. Both great methods, yep. you know, depending on what you want to do. Of course, Dualize does cost a little bit of money. So you know, if you want sort of the, the manual method, we definitely recommend merging clips in Premiere Pro. And you can find a similar functionality in other nonlinear editors. And then if you, uh, if, if you do want to go to the next level, Dualize provides a really, really tr uh, streamlined uh, solution yeah. for being able to sort of merge those clips as well as sync your clips at the same time. And you can get a fully functional working demo so you could try it out on a project, make sure it works for you. Absolutely. And then you can get that by going to uh, singularsoftware.com. Yep. Cool. So head on over to creativecow.net where you've got the DSLR forum. Tons of great resources there, questions, 
post your reel, get some feedback, and also check out Creative Cow Magazine that's filled with great inspirational articles written by actual pros who are out there doing things. For Creative Cow's DSLR Podcast, my name's Rich Harrington. And I'm Robbie Carman. Thanks for joining us.